Welcome to my attempt to go from absolutely no bank value to a twisted bow on my max 60 attack med level. I will achieve this through Slayer, other PVM like Raids and Zora, and as a PK or at heart, you'll definitely see me out there in PvP with the money made from the series. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. How are we doing ladies and gentlemen? Episode number 7 of Taddy the Twisted Bow. Can't believe it's been going on that long already. Anyways, untradeables out of the bank, and let's check the value. 511 mil is our start point. Let's go ahead and try to get as much money as we can. Just to give you guys my thought process on this episode, I don't have a lot of time to play IRL, so I kind of just want to do what's most fun to me at that time. So this episode's going to be a bit random. However, I know I want to grind the Callisto bed some more, so that is where we are going to start the episode, but I'm sure there'll be raids and, you know, all that good stuff. I love how I said raids and then did not give another example. Anyway... I'm sure you guys will enjoy. I hope so, at least. So let's go ahead and get after it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 175 kill count coming in at the big bear. I'll probably update you guys every 25 kills because this is kind of painful. I'm just kidding, guys. It's not that bad. But I will throw my loot tracker for those 25 kills up on the screen. I probably won't do this every time, but just so in case you guys are wondering what 25 kills of Callisto look like. So everybody, Mint Mad Cow decided to make a video about PKing at Callisto and how great it is. Thanks, by the way, while I'm going for the pet. I'm obviously joking, by the way. If you don't watch Mint Mad Cow, I suggest you should. His videos are very good. But yeah, because of that, we decided to switch up the Callisto setup. I went with a brimstone ring instead of an archer's and a glory instead of an anguish. And I brought out the dragon claws to try and get some anti-PKs. So let's go ahead and get into it. Dragon pickaxe on 190 kill count, ladies and gentlemen. That is lovely, lovely, lovely. Bro, what the fuck is going on with Callisto? I just got two D picks and six kills. Um, yeah, I'll take that for sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Callisto. Quickly interrupting the video to smack a max main PK. Here we go. Nice. Hey, there's something exciting. A little elite clue scroll from the big bear. That's uh, pretty decent. We'll bang it out real quick. Alrighty, ladies and gents, everybody knows the drill. Time to open this elite at murky. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, that is really underwhelming, man. There's three slots. All right. Interrupting my kill, are we? All right, you're going to pay for that, brother. GG's to the lad. I'm going to go back to finishing my kill. Thank you very much. Another member from the same team came and he was not happy, so let's kill him too. Huge ballista hit. Okay, and he's smited. S kill him. Unlucky. 2 HP for the staff smite. We did end up killing him, but he gets his prayer back on. So upsetting, man. 250 kill count coming in at Callisto. Pretty big milestone. We're going to go for 300 kills during this video, so uh, let's go. Dragon 2 H sword coming in. I can't be mad. I already have two D picks this episode. Fuck it. So guys, I didn't really want to flood the video with PK clips because I've gotten so many anti-PKs, but they've all only been like, you know, upwards of 500k. This one happened to be a little bit different. As you can see, he just pulled out a DCB and he has a Staff of Light main. So uh, let's see what we could do against him. It is very important to make your opponent think that they have complete control over the fight so you could always go for a sneak attack. I'm going to take my prayer off here and act like I got smited to set me up for the big boy kill. The claws were actually super delayed. I'm surprised my ballista actually pulled through for me right here, but he goes down. Let's take a look at that loot. Staff of the Light Brimstone Ring Dragon Crossbow. That is so nice to see, boys. 11.2 mil total. Well, boys, there she is. Kill count 300 at Callista. That is 150 kills done in this episode. Well, that's probably going to be it for the Callisto Showcase. I'll probably do it intermittently throughout, you know, my time. If I get something, I'll show you. My second KQ head in 149 kill count? Are you kidding me? I was just doing some Slayer. I'll probably start the Slayer segment of this episode. But uh, yeah, I mean, I feel bad for the people who are trying to do the Elite Diary. My ability to get head on this account is crazy. Wish it was the same in real life. Haha, <laughs> but um, tss. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. 150 kill count coming in at Cowfight Queen. God damn, is this boss just absolutely terrible, especially for a 60 attack med level. Yeah, I did 20 kills, and uh, loot was not spectacular, I might add. But I will show you guys right now, and then continue on with the Slayer grind. Wow, first time seeing a Superior Toroth? That's pretty interesting, man. I mean, I'm glad they added Superiors to this task. It kind of stinks. 
Hey, black mask on the floor from a little cave horror task. I mean, extra 700k to the bank, I'm not complaining at all. Also, I've been getting a few clue scrolls from these like kind of uneventful tasks like this that I've just been doing, and we'll probably just save them up and open them in a while. Alrighty, got ourselves a gargoyle task, so you know what that means. Let's get the pet. Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. I just got one of the coolest pets in the game on 49 kill count. I I am the luckiest pet hunter in the game, bro. Trust. Just fucking trust me. Oh my god. Alright, first things first, I'm never coming back here because the loot is ass. Secondly, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy MBH because this man actually got me this pet. He said, you will get an early pet on this boss and I cannot believe he was right. This is legitimately one of my favorite pets in the game. I am so happy. Holy shit, dude. My baby is now insured along with my other pets, dude. I am so fucking lucky on this account. Just in case you guys didn't know because I don't bring them out a lot, I got a Giant Squirrel at 53 Agility and Rocky at 50 Thieving. This account's pet luck is literally disgusting. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I got 5 hard caskets. I'm next to Bob. I got my new pet. So let's go ahead and start busting these open. Here we go. Pith Helmet? Otherwise that clue is terrible, but I think that's a unique, so that's decent. Oh my god. Not a good start ladies and gentlemen. How about the next one? A little better. Next. Uh, I don't think I've gotten that before. And, oh my god, those were the worst set of five clues I think I've ever opened. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta pay the price. You guys know the drill. Another demonic gorilla task. I even changed my pet to look like a fucking Zenite chart, so I better get one this task. I'm a couple dry. Obviously, just chucking in a few bunny hops for luck. Now let's go ahead and get on after it. Listen, boys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'll put the rate on the screen, but this one, this one hurts, man. That really hurts. First kill of the new trip, light frame, baby. You absolutely love to see it. What a task this has been, boys. What a task. Well, boys, we are now doubled the drop rate of a Zenite shard. I mean, it kind of hurts, but, you know, oh, well, we got really lucky at the beginning, so, you know, can't be that mad. I'm going to finish out the trip, so if I get a Zenite in, like, these next, like, three kills, I'll let you know. Maybe this hard casket will make up for going dry on the Zennies? Okay, we got a master clue, dude. I'm sure I won't be able to do it, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, listen, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of the series, I do not have the time to bang out 85 fire making for a boost to 90 for this step. So unfortunately, the master clue will not get completed. Well, guys, your boy has a DK's task, so we're going to go ahead and bang that right out. So uh, good luck us. Lads, I'm not even kidding. I am not even kidding. I just got a warrior ring the first kill. Do you guys remember the last episode where I got like 14 warrior rings and 41 KC? Yep, there's another one. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Alrighty, first kill of the trip, we get a fucking seer coal. So cool, man. So cool. Kill count 69 seers ring. Can I get a nice, boys? I would meme that clip over, but you know, I already used the exact same meme in the video. So uh, yeah, sorry, boys. Can't do it again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to finish the DK's task off. No good rings. I mean, I'm going to kill one more Supreme and one more uh, Rex, but, you know, not really uh, getting my hopes up. On the bright side, though, did get two hard caskets from DK, so let's go ahead and crack them open. Uh, that is not bad. 174k, pretty good. And then, uh, oh my god, 107k. Nice little Bandos full helmet there. So, ladies and gentlemen, got the cash stack out. We are about to make a major upgrade. Can anyone guess what it is? Yeah, I really didn't realize how expensive this shit was. I just sold my PK tab, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Full ancestral on the account. Holy. Look at us. We look so nice, man. Hey, shout out to my boy MVH getting a purple. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, baby. An arcane prayer scroll. I mean, hey. Hey, shout out to this loot, too. Look at this, man. Hey, look at my, look at my rich friends, bro. You need to split that arcane. I know you're struggling. What a dick, dude. Anyway, testing out the Ancestral, it is very nice. I love having it in this raid. Chucking some trio raids with Noah and Bert, and look at these pets, dude. Also, look at their gear, man. This is why I have no points. Fresh off the press, nice little white light with saltpeter included. You just love to see it, baby. Back-to-back -back salt, huh? Very dope, very dope. Nice little duo white light, but we are picking up some XP, so, uh, you know, I'll take it. Another pretty good raid for about 220k, I guess it's alright. Hey, shout out the man Wolf, getting a dex prayer scroll, not too bad, good shit, my man, good shit. Not too bad, elite clue scroll coming in from Callisto, 315 kill count, I told you I was done, but, you know, yeah, I'm doing some kills. Alrighty, boys, can we get a third age bow, let's see it, uh, no we cannot, 50 elites though, done, and done.
Uh, another white light, but I did get an elite, so that's uh, not too terrible, I guess. Well, after a painful night of raiding, let's see what we get from this elite. It's another Yuri hat, dude. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Whatever, not too bad. Got a little hard casket for my blood veil task right before I go do a KBD task. So let's bust that open and get 95k. I mean, you know, they're pretty average. There is the KBD task completed for absolutely no loot lads. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention I have a JAD task. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get the pet right here. There we go. 270 tasks completed, boys. 60 points coming in. I got the fucking cape, but can I get the mother effing pet? Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's bargain for the bitch, per usual, and we are not lucky. Good fight, boys. Well, everybody, I assume you guys already know what's going on. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Nice little painful pair of ballista limbs coming in. That's, uh, you know, lovely, man. Just absolutely lovely. I have to savor this absolutely beautiful pink text, man. Thank God, dude. Finally caught a Zenite, man. I'm so excited. Like, I couldn't imagine going dry on Zenites because it is kind of painful, man. I'm not gonna lie. For all you Iron Man out there, I feel sorry. Another gorilla task over, ladies and gentlemen. Did pick up a Zenite chart this task, so I cannot complain. I'm gonna finish out the trip, and if I get a Zenite chart, I'll let you know about it. Three hard clues to open from Demonic Gorillas. Got my boy Bobby with me. Let's get to it. Come on. Bando's page. Not great. Uh, 94k, not great. And a black dragon mask. I've had one of those. And a Guthix page and food. Shitty. Guy is really lucky he called my fucking gargoyle pet earlier because it's another arcane in his name, dude. And I got a torn prayer scroll, man. It's just a sad game. All right, so I know it's pretty lame, but, you know, I want to test the Ancestral out at Zora, and I also bought a Ring of Suffering, imbued that bitch, and put some recoils in it. So, uh, let's go get some uniques, man. Hey, Elite Clue already coming in from Zora. 12 kills into the grind, not too bad. I'll probably stack a few Elites up. I mean, if I get more, I don't want to open them right away. Ah, uh, nice little Spirit Seed coming in. Really matches the tone for the day, honestly. <laughs> Hell yeah, Zora, you little cute bitch. Thanks for the Magic Fang, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, another Spirit Seed? I mean, at least you could trade these bitches in for packs now, I guess. In case you didn't know, I'm talking about Seed Packs in the Farming Guild. I think that's a thing. I think they updated that. Yeah, who knows? You know, I don't know. There we go, guys. 1,600 Zora kills coming in. 100 done so far. Let's keep going. Listen, I know I have the pet, but I kind of want to do like five of these a day just to see if I can get another blade, make this rebuild a little bit easier on myself. But I uh, got an elite clue. This will probably just be lumped in with my uh, Zora clues when we open those. Which, by the way, we're like 180 kills in Zora, and I only have one elite. So, you know, this is number two. <laughs> Okay, back to Zora. Yeah, quickly updating you guys. Uh, got two more Elite Clue Scrolls in like four chests. So uh, yeah, we're doing real well. Got four total now if I can finish this one, which I believe I can. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not trolling you. First of all, look at this drop. 374k cash. That's actually a pretty good ass drop from Gauntlet. But uh, secondly, I gotten three Elite Clues in four chests, man. I'm going to put the screenshot up on the screen. That is so funny, dude. Come on. Yeah, I forgot to open this clue scroll, but, you know, uh, this is the only clue scroll that I can't do in the elite section. Equip only a black salamander. This requires 70 attack to wield. So, uh, unfortunate. Gotta drop. 1,700 kills at Zora to make it an even 250 kills this episode. We're just gonna do a 50 more to get to 1,750. Finally, another elite from Zora. Most of my elites are coming from, uh, Gauntlet. I have, like, seven caskets right now stacked up in my bank, so, uh, this will be number eight. I definitely just lied to you. This is number seven, but, you know, oh well. Yes, sir. Give me another one, baby. More seeds for me. Let's go. Wow, right before we finish the 250 kills, we pull another elite. Let's go, boys. There she blows, 250 kills done. Also nice, little rare drop table drop. Only got one unique throughout this session. Not a big deal though, because I know these elite caskets are going to make up for it, I promise. Ladies and gentlemen, we have eight elite caskets here from Zora and Gauntlet. I will be attempting any master clue that I do get, but I'm not going to be doing any crazy grinds for them. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. First casket, please be nice to me. 262k, that's pretty decent. Second. 297k, that's also very good. Third, 302. I mean, these values are fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Casket number four, we got 153k, uh, 184k. Any uniques, man? 368k, damn. Come on, unique. 257k, and finally, oh, a dragon full ornament kit. I don't think I had that before. That's uh, that's a unique. I cannot complain about a couple mil from a few elite caskets. That's pretty damn decent. We are going to end the video with some gauntlet and finishing up 200 kill kind of raids, so let's jump into that.
Ah, Gauntlet, I remember why I liked you, my man. Crystal Armor Seed coming in 4.5 mil right in the back pocket. Very nice. 238 kill count picking up a Crystal Weapon Seed. Not very good. Could have been 4 mil, but oh well. We go 250th chest at the Corrupted Gauntlet. That's 50 done this episode. Here we go. Uh, not too bad, you know. I'll, it's decent, I'll take it. Right after I recorded that clip, an Iron Man by the name of No, which is a sick name, got a blade. Unreal. Congratulations to him, that's sick. Also, I wanted to show you guys my board. Uh, 250 completions and 58 deaths, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty positive on the board. We got two more elite clues from the Corrupted Gauntlet, so let's go ahead and bust these open, hoping for a third age bow. But uh, otherwise, on the agenda, we're going to do a few more raids and then roll the PK montage and end this episode out. Anyways, here we go. Can we get some decent, man? Uh, Master Clue. Okay, I will definitely give that an attempt. Um, let me see the first step of this. I could do that. That's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to drop it, see if we get another one, but here we go. Um, okay. I mean, it's a unique. It's not, like, super sick, but it's a unique. I will definitely take that. Let's go see if we can do this master. On step four, man, Smith, a Runite Medhelm. Unlucky, lads. Uh, another duo with my man Brutalities, 199 raids complete, one more to go, and no purple light, unfortunately. Raid 200, and as my friend Brutality says... Sad, my man. Sad, sad game. Also, I do know my points are on the shittier side. I mean, it's really hard to do some melee shit with 60 attack. Like, you just don't hit. Anyways, boys, happy spooky season for me and Brutalities. Let's go ahead and run that PK montage. Alrighty guys, sorry for interrupting the montage, but I need to show you guys this clip because I want you to tell me if I could keep this. I mean, I really stalked this dude because he looked like a complete noob and uh, I ended up killing him. I'll show you the clip now. I know it's only 4 mil, but I want to keep this series as legitimate as possible, so uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Personally, I think he was just a noob, and uh, I think I should be able to keep the Abbey Dagger, but obviously I'm biased, so let me know. You what? Alrighty, ladies and gents, the untradeables are out of the bank, so let's go ahead and pop open it. Let's see, 631 mil, meaning we made a clean 120 mil in this episode. I know there wasn't any big drops, but everything we did really added up, apparently. I mean, I'd love to see it, you know? And that is going to conclude this episode of Taddy to Twisted Bow. It was a great episode. I had a lot of fun. 
I'm sorry for the delay on it, man. I'm working so hard and just trying to bang these videos out, but I got a lot going on IRL right now. But if you did enjoy the video, it would mean the world to me if you would like it and subscribe to not miss out on any of my future releases. Have a fantastic rest of the day, everybody, and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Peace out.